So now let's look at this demo. Identify steps to pass data between jobs in a workflow. So we are going to create two jobs. First job will create a file, write some data in the file, and second job will read that file. So I'm going to go to my Node.js repository in the workflow section. Let's add a new workflow. So I'm going to create a new file and just name it as passingdata.yaml. And now let's write the contents of the file. So I'm going to name it as data passing workflow on push. And now let's write the job. So the first one would be job one, which runs on Ubuntu latest. And the steps name would be generate data, run echo some data generated in job one. And we are going to write the output in data.txt. Now I'm going to upload the data as artifact which uses actions upload artifact v2 and the width parameter so the name the name of the uploaded artifact would be data artifact and the path the path should be the directory or the actual file so in our case it's data.txt we are going to upload data.txt with an artifact with a name data artifact so that's our job one. Now let's write job two. And needs job one because job two should run after job one for our use case. That's how it will read the file after job one is ran and it again runs on Ubun to latest steps name. We're going to download the data artifact first. We had uploaded it earlier. Now we are going to download here. And now it uses actions download artifact v2. And again, with name of the artifact, we had given data artifact and the path. So it should be downloaded to data folder. And the name, uh, another one would be let's just cat. So use data in job two. So we are going to over here just uh, display the contents data, data.txt. So the data.txt would be downloaded over here in the data folder. And we are going to display the contents and we'll see that in the output so that's our basic workflow the job one would create artifact the second one would consume the artifact and there are many practical use cases and scenarios where you would need that um, and we'll discuss that later but for now this is how we pass data between uh, two different jobs and let's run this so i'm going to commit the changes And we have this passing data.yaml. I'm going to go to actions, click on our workflow on the left, and let's take a look. So it runs job one, and now it will run job two. It's completing job two or completed it. Now, this is the output that we have we were echoing at the end we were displaying the contents of data.txt and it says uh, some data generated in job one which was the content of our file data.txt so that's how we can pass an artifact from one job to another